In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create a single page website in Laravel. And this is the design I'm going to work on for this tutorial upon a request from Bernard Chishumo, whom I made on Facebook. Welcome to Webtrix Home. I've already got a fresh Laravel copy installed in my SCDocs folder. Let's rename it as Unix Single Page Website and then open it in the text editor. Before working on anything else, let's go back to the local drive and copy the design template and associate files to the project. Let's copy all the associated CSS and JS files along with images inside a new folder named Frontend inside the public folder. Let's move the fav icon as well inside IMG folder. And then go back to the static template directory and copy the frontend index file and place, place it inside resources views inside a new folder named frontend and since its extension to .blade.php now let's open the project in browser you can see all the directories listed when you enter the root url and if you add public uri at the end you'll see the welcome blade as well so let's make it load the welcome blade by default and all you need to do is rename the server to PSV file in your root folder to index.psp that's all and you can see the changes but let's move the stxs file from inside the public directory to the root as well So this is the welcome blade being loaded via root URL. Now let's go on and load our front index blade instead. For that we'll need to modify our web.psv file and replace the welcome blade from view to frontend.index. Let's reload the browser and you can see the index blade loaded. Though the CSS, JS, and images are not loading. Let's open the index blade and fix the links to have a proper view of the template. Rewrite all the CSS parts from base URL using blade syntax. Let's reload the browser. Now all the CSS files and file icon is loading. Let's go on to fix the images and JS parts as well in the index blade. Let's change the footer text too. Reload the browser and you can see the template loaded properly. Now the next step would be to create a database and connect it to the project. We can close the static template then. Let's open the phpMyAdmin and create a new database. Give it a name and Unicode Collision UTF MB4 main. The database is created. Let's update the env file with the database name, username and password. We 
we can close it then. Let's start making models and migration files using terminal. Go to the project directory. Let's run the PSP origin command to check if it's working. Now let's create our first model and migration file for the main menu. And let's say TVL underscore menu hyphen M for migration. Open the model and define the table name and primary key. Then open the migration file and define the columns and data types for the defined table. Let's change the primary key name at title and status. We can update the table anytime if needed. Save it and migrate the table columns to the database with PSP Artisan Migrate. Check it out in PSP My Admin. Click on the table and structure and you can see all the columns added there. Now we can go on to create multiple tables as we need. The first and second section will need a table for the title, description and emails. The services section need another table to add the title, icons and descriptions. Portfolio also needs a separate table to store categories and images. Client section needs another table to store images while the team section has got a lot more details than the other sections. We'll need a table to store messages too. Let's start with the home section then. Create a model and migration file named TVL Homes. Redefine the table name and primary key in the model and add column in the migration table. Let's add long text instead of string for description. That will allow us to add enough text content. Migrate the table data and it's done. Then we can go on to add another table for about a section which will be similar to the home table. I'll just copy the data from previous model and migration for quick results. Again repeating the same process for service table. Uh, this time we need to change the column names as well. In the portfolio section, here's the secondary menu categories related to portfolio. So we'll create a different table for that and we'll create another table to add the images and their titles and portfolio categories. Title and status should be enough for the categories. Migrate this table data first, then create another set of model and migration files for those images. Let's say portfolio images and go on to redefine the data in those files and migrate. Next in line is the client section and all we need to do is add the image field only. Let's create that too, redefine the model. Let's close all those currently open tabs which we don't need anymore. Now let's define the columns as well as migrate.
for the team section we'll need columns for image multiple social links name description and designation as well let's create a model and migration for that too and repeat the same process of redefining table primary key and define data columns Almost done. Now we'll need to add two tables to our database, one containing the address details and the other holding the contact us form fields. Let's start with the address section. Let's add the message table to them, which should be an easy job for you from here onwards. So the database is ready and the project properly set up. Let's add a backend template then. And I'll use admin LT as the backend design. This is the design. I'll update my web.php file to load the backend template first. The location over the backend folder inside the views. Copy the template file from local directory to my project directory inside resources, views, backend folder. Change its extension to .blade.php and load the backend page in the browser. You can see the page loading and the shared files need to be fixed. So I'll add the minimum files it needs and remove all the unnecessary sections from the template like the side panel and the toggle options as you can see here. I'll keep the basic CSS files and the icons only in CSS. Go to the project directory, public and create a new folder named backend. Files that are present in the frontend folder will be connected from there, while the specific backend files will be placed in that folder. Remove unwanted CSS and JS files along with HTML contents from the index plate. That's all for today. We'll create backend files to ensure update and delete data to and from the database in our next lesson. Please keep patience till then and subscribe to our channel as well. Thanks for watching.